it's not as easy to find people who are really qualified to check for mold in yeah. your house. Yeah. So what, is there any companies that you suggest that do a good job or websites you can find people or what, and what are tests? Like this one guy came to our office cause we had him check for mold and I was like, he just did some wackadoodle thing, and I don't know if it was, you know, yeah. real or not. So, what are you looking for when these people? You know, I'll I'll be honest. I mean, that and that's a very good question. And after over a decade, there's it's really hard to come by a great answer because there are so many companies out there that they they will sell a process or something that's proprietary. Um, you don't really necessarily know all of what they're doing. Does it work? Does it not? Um, are they taking some drastic measures that actually could even be more detrimental in the long run? Um, so really paying attention to that. I, I recommend um, a really easy book um, is called Mold Money. It walks through some very simple things and what to look for and, and some legal aspects of remediation because it is a major, major problem. And I think it really starts with the fact that the EPA just hasn't set standards for what a clean living environment really is and what it should look like. But it's also because it's a moving target. You know, you you have, you know, maybe more or less susceptibility than, than I do. And then most people, even though they shouldn't be living in mold, they may not, you know, react the way we were talking about at the beginning. And so I think that's why it is a moving target and hard to find companies that really get it. But a couple of things is, is making sure that all work is done under uh, negative pressure so that nothing is getting disturbed and spread throughout any uh, of the, the work or the, the house, uh, the workplace, uh, making sure that the dust and things like that are controlled because mold is gonna be carried on that dust and it can get anywhere. So you wanna make sure that they're containing that. Um, I wouldn't uh, be using any types of harsh chemicals and, and stuff like that. Um, I, you know, he talks about even literally soap and water. If you see areas of say drywall that have been water damaged, you cut it out. Anything that has been water, you know, saturated, if it's not dried within 24 hours, I would absolutely remove that. Those are about the simplest things you can do. Uh, and then if it, you know, you can control the air too with things like air scrubbers or um, you know much more uh, higher quality HEPA filters that they have. Um, a lot of these companies will use that, but uh, you know if they're talking about using harsh chemicals, antimicrobials, things like that, I would be a little skeptical and ask more questions for sure.